the streets. We work it. Working this at exclusively on Streets 94. Fa- holidays, holidays, holiday season. So now let's do Hip Hop Station, Streets 945, DJ Holiday in the building. Yes, and we have a special guest. Um, I like her a lot because she's very <laughs> interested on this show that I watch when I get home. My girlfriend knows to um, put it on on demand for me. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, this is, you have an interesting role in the, in the show. I always support Diamond at one point in time for it, but mm-hmm. I like your storyline and what you got going on. Thank and you. I the whole it. tank situation and all that good stuff the right show now. show is. Brooke was very excited about it. And, and yeah, Sisterhood of Hip Hop in here. Sisterhood of Hip Hop, yes. 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 <laughs> Introduce yourself to the, the city of What up, what up, baby? This your girl, Say, man. Brooke, Sorry, how are you doing? I'm good, man. I'm blessed. Good. Yeah. I really like the show. I it's very it. intriguing. Thank you. To follow you guys, you know, uh, storyline, which yeah. I got going on, and you know, the things you got to do to, mm-hmm. to get to the next level in hip hop. Our show's never been done. That's what makes it such a good Yeah, it's really thing. dope. Because yeah. T.I. talked about it a long time ago mm-hmm. when he came up here. He was like, I had to talk that show for yeah. like, five girls or something mm-hmm. like that. So yeah, good looking. It is. So I like your storyline. I, I like Diamond, so I really like yours. Thank you. Yeah. Can you say that it's you're the uh, first? Openly gay, right? Openly yes. gay rapper. Mainstream. Mainstream. Yeah. Mainstream television, all things concert. Yes. I am. Do you want that to be what people like remember Do you as? Punchline? Yeah. To get you in the door as you know, someone that said, like, okay, I remember her because she's the first openly gay rapper. I mean, because of the show and the platform, that's bound to happen, but I've been doing this for years. I've been rapping since I was seven and I've been in the industry since I was 12. Always been openly gay, always been honest about my life. So this ain't nothing new. Right. You know what I mean? Speaking of your girlfriend. Yes, yes. exactly her. Is she like <laughs> still getting your nerves? Because <laughs> <laughs> I say the show, I was like, yo, yeah, why is she? Does she know she has to network to, to get to the next level and she gets mad when you step away from her in the bar? Like, what's up with that? You still want her to tell me you could have. Uh, look, you gotta, you gotta continue to watch the show to figure out figure out that. Oh, here you go. <laughs> but to, to, to talk about the show, to be honest with you, you know what I mean? There was a lot of things that were exposed as far as our relationship. And for this being a, a, a new thing for her, it was a lot for her to take in. Mm-hmm. So, you know, she's wires still, get crossed. She still got a dog? Yeah, yeah, he's, he ain't no puppy no more. That boy oh, big. Yeah. He's huge. That's what's up. That's yeah. What's up, yeah. Oh. And, and what about Tank? Teezy, man. Teezy, Teezy's out doing his thing. His album dropped uh, the, actually the same day the show premiered. So he's out doing his thing. But yeah, he's and still, he's still a- managing you, right? Uh, he's the label so, sound base entertainment. How is that working having an R&B artist at his caliber managing you as a hip hop artist uh, who is now openly gay? I really didn't get the chemistry between Yeah, it's I weird. I knew he could possibly help you maybe get a feature from Ty- Tyrese. Or <laughs> I just was like, you know, okay, what is she? You know. But you know, you know what's dope about um, Tank? A lot of a lot of cats that's in the industry respect him because he's been in the game so long. And he is very talented mm-hmm. as a singer and a writer. So through him, I've met plenty of people. I was just in the studio with Jeremiah. And Chris Brown is my homie. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the younger generation actually still rocks with him. So he's he's. He, he shook hands. What killed me was he, he he said to your face that he didn't have a budget to get you in the studio. Yeah. And what killed Very me was honest. studio time comes like two hundred dollars. Yeah. I know you ain't taking no eight nine hours to make a song. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah, nah. But, you know we we was up in New York and home base is out in Cali. That's where we have our own studio. So mm-hmm. I was just getting frustrated being out in New York and not being able to move around how I wanted to. You showed that real emotion. You cried. Yeah, I, I, I did. I you, your pace. But you know what it is? A lot of people get that. A lot of people get that misconstrued. Like they think, oh, I, I, she's crying, whatever. But it's like when I cry, I cry when I'm pissed. Yeah. So nine times out of ten, I would have pushed a few cameras, punched out a couple car windows, that type of thing. So to avoid that, yeah. <laughs> you know? which I was gonna ask you about because you're a female rapper. Right. Most female rappers are feminine, obviously, right. and they, you know, they appeal to the feminine. Fan, mm-hmm. right? So, as a female hip hop artist, do you relate more with men oh, yeah. or women when you're like with your delivery, with your music? Everything, absolutely. I grew up. I grew up in one of the roughest projects in Brooklyn. I'm from Bedside. I grew up around nothing but men. So, of course, my cadence and everything about me comes off as like I'm one of the boys, which right. I really am because I can hang with them, and that's just how it goes. You know what I mean? Um, my music comes across the same way. My delivery. I don't rap like no chick, and I don't sound like no chick. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Plus, I got balls. So. <laughs> I almost felt like she said I have balls. Oh, no, no, no. She has bars. <laughs> bars. She has I bars. definitely don't have She has an accent. Well, speaking of she bars, I'm really intrigued to hear something because I, I mean, I, 
I don't know where we're at in the season, but you haven't. You, I think we're in the studio. Have you already? Yeah, I, I think, well, think we're just getting in to do yeah. a freestyle or something like yeah, that. Yeah, the episode that just passed, they um, they aired freestyle. Actually, no, I I couldn't pull words out of the air if I tried. Yeah. I suck at that. You're yeah. a lyricist. I'm a lyricist. Mm -hmm. I need to write down my thoughts, right. and then when I get in the booth, I can handle it. I don't I don't get how people can do that. So where are you at right now in your career with with Tank and possibly putting up music? Out? Mixtapes, I mean, mixtapes, albums. Yeah, yeah. Out, yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, um, we've been had a bunch of music. We just been sitting on it for a while. We were just thinking about an album, but I sat down with Tip about two weeks ago, and I had a, good, a really good conversation with him, and he just thinks that I should. Let some music go for the public. They're gonna pick it back off the show. We're gonna use the show as leverage, but yeah, I mean, I already had mixtapes out before the show. Okay. So yeah. Even if like, you do a research, New York is like a hard place to break in. Like, oh yeah. Place. How they receive you out there with the show and whatnot? Uh, that's that's home, man. That's home. I mean, New York is embrace New York is when it's real. Yeah. You know what I mean? Anything that's fake, of course, they're gonna look at it like, alright, get about it. So what artists? What hip hop artists do you look up to? Or did you I mean, because I know you're from Brooklyn. Yeah, so, so of course, obvious of course, Jay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay. Yeah, but, but <laughs> real, real hip-hop. Um, I've, I've always been a huge fan of Big L. Oh oh my God, God rest his soul. Too. He yeah. was, man. He was yeah. great. And to be honest with you, if that boy would have lived, mm -hmm. there would have yeah. been a lot of cats not doing it right now. Okay. Yeah. But you're in the land of fever. Yes. So you have to, you know, beat, I guess, maybe the Iggy's and the Nicky's and the people like that. You're competing. It's a, it's a competition. It so it is. But when I don't, the South Bank really to the game is gonna, you know, get these girls to pay attention to what's going on, other than just the, the show. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, but honestly, I don't, I don't really pay attention to female rappers. Like, I, I love it because we're all, we're all female MCs and we're all doing something positive for hip hop. But my competition, in my mind, is the men because there's so many of them. I want to knock down a few of them so I can open up more lanes for us. You know what I mean? So what can we expect from you coming up, like this year, like besides, you know, the music that you say you're sitting on with the mixtape? Um, Any shows coming up? You, oh, yeah. you just did a show. I just did a show in Mississippi, B Rick Rose, Young Thug, and Rich on the Corn. Mm -hmm. uh, that was amazing. It was dope. Um, I actually leave tomorrow morning to go to Houston to do some things. Um, I do uh, I do some female hip hop awards in LA, and I'm supposed to be uh, doing a tribute to the Brat. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a musical up. tribute? Yeah, or? like me, me and Lola and Brother are supposed to perform. Wow. Yeah, yeah, so we're going to turn That's cool. Is it televised? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Uh, we got to find you. It's going to be there. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming through. Thank man. you, man. I really man. appreciate it because, I, um, like I told you, you got my attention. <laughs> yeah. I watched that show. There's nothing else to watch. Football's on now, though. So hey, man. <laughs> I'm finish the rest of the Football's my season, though. I'm going to watch the rest of the <laughs> series. Yeah. Yeah. I like the show. I, mean, <laughs> yeah, I really appreciate you coming through. Thank you. Shout out to you guys. Um, man, shout out to my hometown, Brooklyn, Best Guy. Yeah. Shout out to Renee, shout out to all the girls on the show. Uh, Brianna, Diamond, Naima, Bia. Shout out to Oxygen and 51 Minds, man, for making it possible. And Thank your you. fine ass girlfriend. Yes. Big, big platform, yeah. Tell her to get off your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said it already, Brooke over there chiming in. You make sure you make a show, she heard it. <laughs> yeah. Streets 945, and that is the hip hop station. Eight time, keep it locked, baby. Holidays, holidays, holiday season. Holidays.